I think we're going to change fundamentally after this. I mean, it's COVID's changed us in Houston a lot. We had our original surge in April, where we had over 200 people in the hospital, a lot of people in the ICU, a lot of people on ECMO, uh, a fair number of deaths. We converted many of my hospital ICUs into COVID-only ICUs. I have uh, in my cardiovascular ICU, we have intensivists that were there 24-7. They became COVID intensivists. Uh, my, my fellow faculty members and I had to take over the ICU and become our own intensivists. So we moved in. I ran the ICU every day from 6.30 in the morning to 6.30 at night for two weeks. Uh, we got past that initial surge in Houston. We now have a second wave. Uh, we now have three times as many people in the hospital as we have with our initial surge. And so we're not, we're, our surgical schedules are somewhat limited, um, not gone, but limited. We now have a virtual ICU to try to expand out uh, the need for intensivists. That's never going to go away. And I do think there's going to be more and more virtual care. Uh, you know, things have changed. And it used to be, if a radiologist wanted to read a film, he needed to be in the hospital, see it come off the printer and look at it. Now they can read them from home. I can read them from home. In fact, as you know, in many hospitals, uh, where they don't have a lot of radiologists, people in Australia will read the night x-rays and then they're overread in the morning and vice versa. The night x-rays from Australia are read here because they can, they can do this work anywhere on the planet. Uh, so much of this is becoming Im imaging. And the next thing that's going to happen for things like x-rays is they'll be read by uh, AI machines, which will be, for most things, pretty much as good as humans. So, uh, right now, there's, there's such a lack of physicians and, and nurses and other helpers that that would be welcome. 50 years from now, I don't know what that's going to be like. It may be where, you know, we, we may have more doctors in spots, but that's be long after my time.